this video is about color coding. One thing you notice here is that all of the tracks are a different color. All of the files that are on the tracks are a different color as well. What I want to do for organization is take all of these drum tracks here and I want all of the tracks on the left side to be the same color and then I also want the files that are on the main tracks to be the same color. If I click this top track that says kick and then I shift click this bottom track it's going to highlight all the tracks in between. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a group. With all of these tracks highlighted, I can pull this menu down and I can create a new group down here. Uh, and I notice that the key command is Command G. Or I could pull the track menu down and I can also see that, again, the key command is Command G. I'm going to go ahead and use the key command and it brings up this window. And I'm just going to type in drums here. The good thing about this is now if I solo any one of the tracks, they'll all solo together. I mute them. They mute together. Also, if I do editorial work, what I do to one track is also going to happen to all the other tracks. The next thing that I want to do is make sure that all of these files that are on the tracks and then all of the tracks here are the same color for this group. Before I get into color coding things, I want to go into my preferences. And on the first page, which is my display page, over here on the right side, I have choices as to my clip color coding and also my track color coding. What I want to do with the default track color coding is I want to make this none. For clip color coding, I want this to follow the track color. And then I click OK. The good news here is that now my track color is red here and my clips are red that are on that track. This one is orange and the clips are orange on that track. But I want these to be all the same color. So if I click the track color on one of the tracks, it'll bring up this window called the color palette. This pull down menu is already set to tracks. And one thing you notice about this is all of these different colors are selected here. So you can see that within my tracks, I have some purple, I have some red, I have some orange ones, but I want all of these tracks that I have selected to be the same color. With all of my drum tracks selected, I'll just pick a color and then all of my tracks will then become that purple color. And because I set my preferences up for my clips to follow the track color, now the clips are also purple. You can change the saturation by clicking this little rainbow button and then you can make it either darker or lighter depending on your preference and then you just close this window and you have a color coded session you can also pull the window menu down and get to the color palette that way